my understanding of insider mediation is that when there's conflict or misunderstanding between people in a community, there's a particular person who will help them solve that problem without going to the police station or the problem getting bigger. Inside mediator project bini nyu ambil banjul fini. So fe kene nyu tahu nanti, faru nanti. Da fa ja pale wa banjul di nata tension bisa because banjul bari wut problem. Nyu sun inde yefi inside mediator bi bil banjul. Da fa meni da fa nyu banjul pure in the city problem bu fini ka. Solving problems of community within the community themselves, I think, is more proper and it's the easiest way rather than going to the police. The police officer might be someone who is not even within the community. So it's much better if you have the people within the community themselves being mediators to mediate such problems. That is in fact one of the traditions that we used to have in this country. In many years ago, you know, when problems erupt in a house, you know, or in a compound, people will ensure that they mediate and finish it peacefully within the compound. Aldunta nyo laltara police. Police uka badim kuntundot jama bije. Police ni moltara police dulka mira menti ka folko sen nene to diar bayring police ta dunta jina fok pareta. But like saying nin de malnga so the society kono kom sanga mulde so the million ko be diam landa mal team. Omo alhamdulillah yo da mat. Time bo de mari fok nde kom kom na wax rek mun nga neka inside mi djitu. Why re realize nane there are so many criteria bo xamni den ko wara mit be nga mun neka inside mi djitu. Nyanta kila multi meyalon ko tilintale mo meyalon ko e honestale and we te bribe mutala ni tata si ta be la moy la kraflol bele la. For young people, the message I have for them is that the future is ours. It's either we maintain our peace now or maintain it later. I think the earlier the better. So if we help um, this insider mediation process, it will help us to maintain our peace now and forever. Good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here for the first episode of the Strengthening Insider Mediation for Conflict Prevention in the Gambia talk show brought to you by Peace Hub the Gambia, Ministry of Interior, Peace Network, ADRS, OneEP, proudly sponsored by um, UNDP and EU the Gambia. And uh, it's a pleasure to be here. And I am Defati Nyung from Peace of the Gambia. This evening we'll be discussing on the project that we're currently doing. In fact, almost at the concluding part of the first year, uh, which is the strengthening insider mediation for conflict prevention in the Gambia. So today with me, I have incredible guests who are doing amazingly well in strengthening peace in the Gambia and beyond. And I'll just give them the opportunity to introduce themselves and then we'll be back again to tell you what insider mediation is and why we are here. So we're starting with Mr. Kamara, my uncle here. Could you please just briefly introduce yourself and the work you're doing? Uh, thank you, Nde Fatu, and good evening to viewers. Um, uh, like she said, I am Bakari Kamara. Um, I work for the Alternative Dispute Solution Secretary at ADRS, um, and I'm also our institution is also part of this project. Thank you. Yes. Um, thank you very much, Ndei Fatu, for having me here. My name is Fanta Dabo, representing one of the Gambia. It's a pleasure. Thank you, Fanta. Thank you very much, Ndei Fatu. My name is Musa Kesise. I work with Peace Network, the Gambia. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Fanta, Musa, and Mr. Kamara. You've been doing an incredible job since the implementation started, and we are the project team, uh, like I said before. So when we talk about uh, insider mediation and why we are strengthening insider mediation in the game, I'm sure most of us have already known what insider mediation is or might not even know what insider mediation is, and that's why we are here, because we want to popularize the concept of insider mediation and why it is important in promoting peace and development in the game because you would all agree with me that it is imperative to have peace in the game especially now that our elections are just two years or less away so i think it's more needed now than ever to know what we're supposed to do especially using community members to address community issues that we're faced with and promoting peace and development. So just uh, briefly, we'll just start with Fanta. You work with one of the Gambia, which is doing an incredible job. And one of is not just in the Gambia, it's in 
it's actually regional in all that. Yeah, and you're doing an amazing job when it comes to promoting peace and uh, development in the Gambia. But being part of this project team, can you just tell us what this, what the whole idea is around uh, this strengthening inside a mediation for conflict prevention and peace is all about? Um, thank you very much. Um, like you said, OneUp is a um, peace building institution, I can say. And also, they are not also um, um, they are not only in the Gambia, but they are found in all the um, ECOWAS member countries that are working in order to um, sustain peace and also to um, 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 embrace peace in in, in, in in the country. So, um, looking at the whole project, inside a mediation is not a new thing in the Gambia, and part of um, peace building mechanism is to um, bring in new or um, develop the existing. Um, ideas that we are having in the country um, for uh, uh, a good social cohesion in this country. So if you look at this project, um, it was due to the, um, um, the issues that we are having in the country, considering how um, conflicts have been emerging in this country. Um, if you can reflect to your back from 2016 um, to date, we understand that we are in the transition peri period, and that comes with a lot of challenges. Um, emerging from um, 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 local conflict, going to political, economic, and social. And knowing fully well that it is the people that are involved in those activities. So what can we do to ensure that when issues emerge, those people can come together and solve those um, issues? So inside a mediation is something that you know that um, the institution um, partner with other institutions like OneEb, ADRS, Peace Hubs, and Peace Network, as well as the Minister of Interior. Um, it was kind of um, um, forced, um, introduced, we can say it's a national initiative. Because if you look at um, the TRRC, part of the TRRC recommendation was for the country to have a peace and reconciliation center. So um, for the country to have that, there are different components that we need to follow. And part of that is to have the infrastructure for peace. And having the infrastructure for peace, that's another component that is talking about the insider mediation. And if you want to bring in, um, 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 infrastructure for peace, there's a need to have a structure for insider mediation. That's the people, the national um, mediators and the regional mediators. And how can we do that is to go back to the local people, to discuss with them, for them to bring their local ideas on how do we go back to facilitate dialogues in our communities and to ensure that when we, when we, when we have those identified mediators, they can represent or uh, be part of the regional and then the, um, the national uh, mediators. And after having that, it will be easier to have that established infrastructure for peace. Because if you look at it, this uh, is, is, is a whole idea of um, bringing local initiative. Because these are not new things. It's just to modify it a little, to make it more standard, so that when issues happen, being at local or national level, we can have at least people that we trust who can solve those issues without not um, um, bringing any issues because there are a lot of conflict issues happening in this country and it's important for people to be sensitive about those issues, especially when solving that particular thing. And that is very important because in our communities we have these district tribunals, we have alcalos, we have the Bajanigos who are doing this incredible job of promoting peace in their communities. How do they do it? They bring in conflicting parties to have a dialogue on what the issue is and reach a resolution that is beneficial to both parties. And this is very important and you made a mention of a very important thing mm -hmm. which is leveraging on existing community mediators to build their capacity, mm -hmm. to build on them to promote peace and that is what the alternative dispute resolution secretariat does best. Mm -hmm. So Mr. Kamara, you know we started the activity with the identification of insider mediators, leveraging on the community mediators that ADRs already have. Can you just tell us how that experience was and how the identification was done more on uh, in detail so everybody is aware that we've done the identification and we do not do it ourselves? Thank you very much once again, Defa, to, like you said, uh, Alternative Dispute Solution um, is an institute under the Ministry of Justice, and our mandate is to resolve civil dispute in which parties are willing to resolve their dispute amicably. Um, when this project started, uh, uh, the first phase was to identify uh, the potential insider mediators whom we f feel can uh, easily resolve dispute within, their, within themselves. Insider means the sense of belonging, means identifying people 
who will be responsible of solving their own problems. Mm -hmm. For instance, if you happen to bring someone outside of that community to resolve that problem, he or she might not be au fait with the social norms and culture of that society. But what insider mediator does is to identify people within their community who will be responsible of solving their own problem. Um, how the project was started is they identify, that is we identify potential in, uh, insider mediators in all the regions of the Gambia. The project started in Banjul, whereby 15 potential insider mediators were identified among the communities. And during this identification, it was an all-inclusive issue, that is uh, youths, elderly, and also people with disabilities, because he who knows it feels it. If I know that I am like this, and then I face someone who also has the same issue, then he or she will have the feeling that he f the way I feel it is the same way I, I, he also feels it. That's why we identify people of different, uh, let's say, societies. There's people with disabilities, the youths, the elderly, and then the women. So this process was done in the entirety of, of the country. We started in Banjul, uh, up to Base, we came up to El Arad, because we want to include the people and then to uh, build that sense of ownership, that sense of belonging, so that they will feel that this is what we own, and this is something that we need to manage to be able to resolve our own problem. Like Fanta said, human being is born with disputes. So in order for him to be able to understand that this is something that belongs to me, he has to be included in that process. So that was why uh, when this project came in, uh, it, we went all around the country to identify people within their own community who will be responsible of solving their own problem. Okay, like we did before, we have community mediators. Those people who are responsible for solving their dispute within their community. As an institution that is responsible for civil disputes, in the event, we, you know, there is a dispute in areas where we don't have uh, offices. These people are responsible for resolving this civil dispute. So I can say insider mediators has come in to empower alternative dispute resolution because they will be able to resolve disputes in which we don't have established uh, offices. So they will be able to represent us in all the communities within the Gambia. Even whereas we don't have offices, the insider mediators are there to help resolve disputes within their communities. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Kamara. I think that is very clear because the call for development is not solely the responsibility of the government, but every citizen have a responsibility to take a crucial role in it. And that is what we are trying to do with this strengthening inside a mediation project because we started it with going through the Ministry of Interior to say this is what we have on the table. How do we work together through EU and UNDP who have funded this and we're sending them a special thanks for their continuous effort to support peace building initiatives in the Gambia. Then from the Ministry of Interior took it up to and say, you know what, I feel like we should just involve civil society actors because they play a crucial role when it comes to peace building and mediation processes in the Gambia. And that is how we are uh, getting to this point because like Fanta mentioned and Mr. Kamara, this is a successor body to the TRRC because we're trying to have an infrastructure for peace, a structure that says we are moving from this to this and this is the part where we are trying to promote peace and unity in the Gambia. We cannot ignore the fact that something had happened. Sure, and, and, and just to, sorry to cut you, just I just want to um, connect something with what he just said. Yes, please. Because if you can recall, um, September we had a, an, a, an activity mm -hmm. in which you were even invited as a speaker. Yes, Part yes, of that yes. activity was just to initiate, officially um, open the, 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 dialogue, the, the dialogue for people to understand what inside a mediation is. And perhaps we as the project team, we could have set at our offices and then select people that we think can be mediators. Definitely. But how sustainable is that? And part of the sustainability aspect, that was why we have to go to the communities. And what do we do? We, we are very sensitive in ensuring that we bring different actors. That is why we have young, because young people, women, and, and people de living with disability, because we don't want to bring any discrimination in that aspect. And then the fact that looking at our society, when we talk about mediation, we always give it to elderly people. And the fact that this project, we are focusing more on youth and women, because if you want to build um, a sustainable development, it needs to start from somewhere. You cannot just ask somebody to do something when you don't give them that way to start from. That is where we have young people in it. And when you look at women, this is another important um, component, because 
they serve as a key role in solving issues in our communities. So we did a nationwide tour, talk consult first. We talk to the people, tell them this is not an a new idea, what do they understand from, um, um, from the whole concept? And then we brought our ideas as well, just to ensure that we have that aligned view of insider mediation. We identify, but we don't do that. It's the community people that identify the people that they trust based on the criteria that they gave us. So part of those criteria, we added that they identify, and after the identification, we did the training, yeah. which was very impactful because we have seen how um, different actors came together to ensure that they have people that they trust and people that they think when issues happen in their communities, they can solve it. So this is an, indeed an amazing project that I know people have um, embrace it because it's not a new thing. Because yeah. when we went to the communities, we made them understand that this is not something that we are paying. It's about taking ownership of your development because we cannot just be there and then designing development for them. Yeah. But why can't we go to them, let them talk to us about what they know about the project that we're talking about and what we can do to ensure that when we um, um, establish what we wanted to do, at the end of the day, it's going to be sustainable. Definitely, Fanta. I think you've just made it explicitly clear. I think you are better off a Kianka to a <laughs> <laughs> Yes, definitely, definitely. And just uh, to quickly go to Musa, I think Fanta just made a very important point about young people taking ownership of mediations and being part of mediation processes. And you are a youth-led civil society organization as well. Why do you think it is important to have young people in mediation processes? Thank you very much, Ndefar. I think this is very important for young people to take part in mediation or training inside the mediators. And of course, to encourage young people to join. In the Gambia, I think now we are more closer to conflict than peace. If you, if you looked at it critically, you will understand that um, we have a lot of things that young people are very, very much engaged into. One is KUS that is going all over the country. We have this, you know, Barkway syndrome that is you know, um, going to Italy or Spain. Now they call it seven days, right? We also have you know, this land issue that young people are also engaging. They are taking part in selling lands. In fact, sometimes they will sell um, without the knowledge of the parents, all right? We also have um, another, another conflict. That is, the, that is this night clubbing. Youths will go and, and stab each other to death. We've seen all these things. So engaging youths, it's very important and it's very, very crucial. What made it very important? Because we are the future leaders, as they always say. But yeah, we disagree yes. with that. No, we are we already are leaders. the leaders. Musa, yeah. take it back. Take it back. Take it back. And, <laughs> and, and, and future. Yes. You see, we are already the leaders of the future and the leaders of the current generation. Definitely. So what made the youth's leadership very crucial and to encourage them to take part is to discourage them from taking coups, is to discourage them from taking drugs, is to discourage them to, you know, to take this back way um, uh, this way to, to, to Italy. Mm -hmm. um, going to Europe or going to settle down there is important. We all know the impact that they are making, mm -hmm. but let's be patient and take the right way. I think that is the best thing that one could do. But the first thing that I always, um, that I discovered mm -hmm. throughout this journey that we have taken mm -hmm. is the youth's involvement in the community development, which cannot be done without the, without the, the, the encouragement of we the youth leaders. We cannot be in combos here and then, you know, under the AC and fan while other people are in the provinces region. During our this nationwide tour, I was very impressed. The way youths are, are, are taking the ownership of their own thing. When we talk about this insider mediation, um, I think we have to remind each other that youth should not go to, should not be taking each other to court. Hence, we have this, you know, insider mediations in all the communities. Why should I say that? I say that because youths taking each other to court, it's going to waste their time. It's going to involve, you know, um, paying a huge amount of money to lawyers. But if we have this insider mediation, whatever conflict that happens in the community, mm -hmm. they will bring them together and talk to them so that they can, they can um, do away with this conflict. Mm -hmm. One thing that I always encourage people, and I keep on emphasizing this, this insider mediation is very important and it's obligation for all of us being it Muslim or Christian, it's obligation for all of us. So if you are um, a conflict resolver, or if you are a trainer of conflict resolutions in all the regions, you have to know that this is an obligation to you. You don't, you don't have to expect payment from anyone. 
you don't have to expect any any um how do you how should i even put it any penny from anyone mm -hmm. that's why we have to thank um you um you ndp and, and eu for bringing up this this project is very timely as you rightly say election is coming up in the next two years not only election right now the conflict that that are going on within ourselves interpersonal conflict interpersonal conflict you have the the the, the intergroup conflict you also have this internal conflict that is always um, going on between us and within us it's important that we come together and resolve this conflict amicably as youth of this generation and the next generation. Thank you. Very important. Young people should always take the lead in initiatives that concern their lives. And you made mention of key issues that are currently affecting young people. And this is not an issue affecting young people. It affects the community generally. Because when we talk about Kush, it's how yeah. <laughs> one of us almost drank sure. Kush sure. <laughs> <laughs> during, <our project. laughs> during the consultation <laughs> because he saw youth uh, brewing attire. So he decided to just make a quick stop and just take uh, a sip. Unfortunately, there was Kush in the attire and he almost drank it. And I am saying, hi, sir. <laughs> will not disclose who you yeah. are. But but these are issues that are affecting us on a daily basis. And not just because you made mention of the land issue as well. We have land conflicts that would always take the better of us. There's always this scramble for natural resources that are having us at loggerheads at all times. Mm -hmm. And beyond all of that, as young people, we definitely have a crucial role. Because this is how I was just asking uh, on the radio one time that, is the Gambia even ready to vote a 25-year-old to be a president in this country? And almost everybody said, no, why? Because young people are not to be trusted. Young people cannot be presidents at 25. They are this, they are that, they are that. And unfortunately, you cannot defend that to some extent because most of these things are true. Because you cannot say you want people to trust you when you're not proving yourself so worthy of that trust yeah. as well. So beyond all of that, and now, here we are with the first consulting community members that we are having this for you on insider mediation to identify people you think can be insider mediators in your communities to training so we've reached out to almost 500 people across the gambia mm -hmm. it's not huge but this is just the first year of the project sure. and in the first year we were able to meet at least 500 and we already have almost 200 community Take mediators home, sure. and we have a mediators in almost every community mm -hmm. except communities we could not get to mm -hmm. but even in the region we have mediators in all the regions eight regions mm -hmm. dividing crr into two Se seven regions and eight local yeah. administrative areas yes yeah. thank you very much mm -hmm. so it's it's not much we mm -hmm. know but this is just a gradual process because if we're doing this together and other groups do the same and other groups do the same at least before the two, three years of this project end, would have at least reached out to a thousand or even more. So this is the whole idea of uh, strengthening inside a mediation. Fanta, you want to say something? Yes, I, I, I just want to add on what Musa just said. Um, looking at young people, we play a very crucial role definitely, in terms definitely. of sustaining peace. And the main reason why we are involving young people in the mediation aspect is because um, um, we've realized that in this country, we. When, when we talk about mediation, like I said earlier, we often, I mean, I mean, associate it with elderly people. Yeah, we all know that we all play our roles differently. And if young people can solve their own issues, why can't we just give them that avenue to become mediators and mediate their own issues? Definitely, because we definitely. all have, I mean, we are all, um, um, we all have advantage one way or the other. A young person is energetic. Remember, for example, when an issue emerged in the football field and that particular issue is being resolved by young people, what do they do? They have to, um, they do organize friendly marches. And yeah. those friendly marches, at the end of the day, a lot of people come on board and then that's a peace at the end of the day. That's because so youths know each other. Yes, we problems. all know our problems. So yeah. it's quite important that there cannot be that discrimination. At the end of the day, it's a, I mean, I mean, it's a process. Mm -hmm. You start from somewhere to get somewhere. You just cannot jump and want to become something if you don't start practicing what you want to do. And looking at it, um, like the security challenges that he said, and when we went to the regions, um, um, we know that there are a lot of um, um, security challenges and the peace and security challenges per se. But what might be um, 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 happening in West Coast could be different from Banjul and CRR. So when we went to the consultation, we've realize that there are a lot of issues happening. This image from the um, land disputes, we have um, um, 
um, this drug issues. And drug has been something that, you know, that is very worrying in this country. And the issue of coups, coups, I think, is the national call. This is not, and even part of us, that's the one of the Gambia, our national early warning system, we do collect data, that the human security is issues. So part of those, every month you realize that we have a lot of um, drug-related issues. We have a lot of crime-related issues. But what are we doing about them? And all of these things cannot be solved. Sometimes there are some issues that can be solved at the police station, like the key issues of criminal and then, and then uh, all the major ones. But minor issues that we have at our communities. Conflict, human beings in nature, we are conflict. We, we are born with conflict and we, we are going to live with conflict. But what can we do to solve those issues? It's by ensuring that we have people that we trust, people that have charisma, people that have integrity in the community, that you know that when they talk, people, we listen to them. We brought those people together in order for them to um, we capacitate them, to have capacity, and then go back talk to these people. Like you said, we at least have 500 people, but 500 is quite huge. It's it not, is, yes, it, it is. is huge. Considering the facts, consider the resources available at hand, it's not something that, you know, at the end of the day, we have been paid huge amount of money, but we are doing it as a national duty. We are doing this because we want our country to develop. Fanta, don't and it's a make jollas and fullers think we are being paid to come No, we, 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 we are not. It's, this is something that, you know, is a national Definitely. call, and we want a sustainable development for our country. We want a Gambia to be that peaceful country that we always yearn for. But looking at the current trend, there are a whole lot of issues that are happening. And how can we solve those issues? It needs to start from the communities. Through insider mediation. Through the insider mediation Sorry. process. And this is a very important um, 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 project, initiative. initiative, I can say. It is funded by the UN and, 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 and EU. EU. But the fact that those people are just helping us. But if we do not take ownership yes. and we do not, I mean, um, um, we are not willing to embrace it, it will be very difficult to, to go ahead with the entire I mean, initiative that we have as an institution. Remember, we are just four, including one national um, 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 body, that is the Ministry of Interior, Interior, overseeing the entire project. But the actual um, um, activity is um, spearheaded by CSOs, mm -hmm. an alternative dispute resolution, which is a key partner to the, to the, to the whole project. Definitely, definitely. And I think that is very important. Yes, Mr. Kamara. And the reason why we went up to the grassroots level is to create that sense of inclusive, all-inclusive data. Mm -hmm. For instance, we can sit in Banjul, like you said, and say we are going to select 20 community mediators in Banjul. Mm -hmm. We are going to select 20 community mediators in Basse mm -hmm. or insider mediators in Basse. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, the project will fail mm -hmm. because there will be no sustainability. Mm -hmm. That's why we went to every community for them to feel that this is something that belongs to them. Because if you look at mediation, mm -hmm. it emanated from alternative dispute resolution. Mm -hmm. And an alternative dis dispute resolution, mm -hmm. it is not something alternative to we Africans. Mm -hmm. We can say it is African dispute resolution. Mm -hmm. It is something that the Europeans came and took it to, took from us. I agree. Uh, exactly. So they, you know, they, because before the coming of the Europeans, mm -hmm. dispute is in inevitable. Mm -hmm. The question is, how, uh, how were our people able to resolve their disputes? Yes. They have bantabas. Mm -hmm. They have community elders mm -hmm. who were responsible and for... The body and, and the body, 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 body yeah. yes. These people were responsible of resolving their disputes. Mm -hmm. When they came, they brought in, in their conventional laws. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, we end up living our own and adopting their own. Mm -hmm. So when they realized that their own is not suitable for they themselves, mm -hmm. they came for ours. Mm -hmm. That is African dispute resolution. They studied it and realized that this is the best solution to dispute resolution. Because mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. like you said, is very fast. Mm -hmm. And then also it's, 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 it's very easy to do. Sure. So they went back and changed the name to alternative mm -hmm. dispute resolution, resolution, meaning something that is alternative to them. Mm -hmm. But for us, it's not alternative. Mm -hmm. It's African dispute resolution. So mm -hmm. it is some, this is something timely. Mm -hmm. Like you said, he who feels it knows it. Mm -hmm. If it's something that concerns the youth, mm -hmm. it is the youth that can manage it properly mm -hmm. because they know their problem, mm -hmm. they know their issues, mm -hmm. and then they know how to confront each other in resolving disputes. If it, if it, if it concerns people with disabilities, mm -hmm. they know it. They know their problem. Mm -hmm. They'll be able to solve their problem. Mm -hmm. It is if it is something about women, mm -hmm. because uh, you know I, I can only be open to you mm -hmm. if I have 
trust and confidence in you. Mm -hmm. And then women, sometimes they feel more comfortable to expose their problem to their fellow women. Mm -hmm. So that is why during the course of the identification and training, mm -hmm. there are there were diverse selection. Sure. That is uh, women Youth. and then youths and also people with disability. So mm -hmm. for the sake of sustainability, mm -hmm. this is why we included every set of groups Yes, and, and, and perhaps uh, I think uh, <laughs> we are talking Thank more. Thank you for taking my <laughs> show. <laughs> no, actually, yes. you know, when you're talking about something that you do, as you're passionate about, and you're passionate, passionate, about, passionate about, you feel about so it. happy Definitely. to talk about those issues. And remember, uh, we are from society and we have cultural values. And remember, too, there are times that you know that our parents and our great, great, uh, great grandparents we are living in harmony. Mm -hmm. They were living peaceful. We can say that they are not having problems or they don't make mistakes. But despite the fact that they do have mistakes, they do go back to talk about those issues. Mm -hmm. These are the issues that we don't, we are not having. These are the platforms that we no longer having. Mm -hmm. People are embracing certain things, and this is bringing all in the name of civilization. Civilization. And, and remember, when we, I think when we, when we went to URL, somebody stood up and said, "Before, when issues happen, we always sit at the banter bar." Maybe few people will sit at the banter bar, talk about those issues. If your child did something that is wrong, another person's child, I mean, parent will correct it, even if you're not there. What does that bring? Because unity. there was a unity. There was respect for each other. But now, when issues happen, the moment you take somebody, for example, if I have an issue with you, Nde Fado, and I took you to police. We will fight. We will fight. And at the end of the day, it will not, that particular problem will not be limited to only me and you. No. It will extend to our children yeah. because they will said Fanta and Dave Fado had a problem. My mom and I mean my friend's mom had a problem. At the end of the day she took my mom to police station. There is no relationship. There is no bond between us again. And immediately when that happened, there's always a conflict. And those definitely, those definitely. conflicts to solve them is always an issue. So why can't we just embrace the local settings that we have? Embracing the local yes, setting settings. is where we will transition to doing it in the local languages sure. because we do not want to live here whilst people don't even understand what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. I know my Mandinka shock, so I would not even go there. <laughs> so I'll just do it in Wolof. Mm -hmm. uh, strengthening inside a mediation in the Gambia for conflict prevention and peace. Inside a mediation, like how many people have said, all of them, they say, why are you going to talk about what they are going to talk about and what they are going to talk about by using what they are going to talk about and what they are going to talk about. They are the imams, the alcohol, the people who are going to talk about and who are going to talk about it. Then you have to take the responsibility of the community. The project that we have is the EU and the UNDP. And we have to take Peace of the Gambia, Ministry of Interior, ADRS, Peace Network and One of the Gambia. We have to take the project. So the project that we have started since last month, we have to take the consultation. The consultation is the consultation. Moi dans des situations où on est assis sur Gambia, ou à un endroit pour gérer des jambes de nos assurés, pour voir les lans moi inside la médiation, à quel moment à tel moment nous indiquons, bon je gère ces consultations, mais les community members ils ham ne ham ne ne inside la médiation, ils mouillent nous dans ces lans de identification, moi community members ils tant en y a ham entre nous nous la gère ou le pour gérer des lans à dohal dohi jama so they know lengkau wahai mangi jaga lu nak all of you setut doa misteri nak doa le expert mudah lah all of you wow ah purgis nak community member ini nyom sen bawa panjang jail jit ah nyong jit elinga haman tenem way doh jama si sen kahi ah bunjuk isi consultation we ag identification we nyu dah elinga haman tenem training lah because ah munga wah niat kene Lila ni la amal, ngawa kwenye tana ni la purunga defligi bini, wai soko jangalo muhamu moja defligi bini na jafet torok, lolo mata ni def training bini, ni kumansi yako banyo dem kani fing municipality, West Coast region, URR, CRR, North Axe South, NBR, Ak LRR, dello siwad fee, si linga hamantene, 
té project bi nak emout fi ni bi yowal la rek ci len def ñu tay yene suñ su joggé dinañ identifier juroom ñi nga xamantene dañu nekk national mediators ño xamantene dika bi ñole na tana seen bop at dia on level ño xamne olu nañ len té am nañ yaakar ci ñom né mën nañu waxtane diga té fuñ len o ci bir gambie bi dinañ fa paré pour dem den ñu joen community mediators yi nga xamantene tana nañ len because region bu nekk tana nañ fa 15 community mediators taten wit banjul be yurar rijon bu nekk tan nañ fa 15 so lolu mo indi won suñ tanka fi ni tay ci li nga xamantene moy programme bi ni bi nak episode 1 la dinañ ko am be end of month dafa nekk four episode te bes bu nekk every week dina len indi le topic bo xamantene amna solo trop ci li nga xamantene moy inside mediation te nak suma guess yuma fi andal moy ñi nga xamantene ci project team bi len joggé pour waxtane li nga xamantene moy project bi ak lan motax mu jog ci gambie bi ñu ci melni Mr Kamara Fim nga xamne mu ngi joggé ADRS Fanta Dabo euh joggé Wanep ak euh Mr Cisse Moussa mom mu ngi joggé Peace Network so mané won rek ma summarize ko ci all of comme man deguma sosé nak na bay ga ñom ñu def summary bi ci sosé Assalamu alaykum Badingol al konton al ton al konton la mo bi daawda ni be djibé wala daaw laato dito Moussa Cisse ti be do ko la Peace Network um mbé projet do dole kono mi yalla ko UNDP ani U, um, ani EU wala projet do ni fasa uh, peace network um, ADRS ani ñu wanep di Gambia ani ministry of interior wala be programme ni ñaatun ka yaakang na banko be tamale ni karitam bila prim banjul KMC West Coast region Karafo Basse Tundokan URR ni CRR no ma fongol be male banko be am nga to mondro ke mol la wala nsaf no community mol fon le la mol tombon il a fait mol milialon ko wolle be kele la am wolle be kele fasar la ti nana da am problem solfin na wolum ka kairo sabandindi la il a tundol kan wo kam mala biring wo to mondro be kera murun da ko ren ke karandi gambe belem ka biring banjul fo am provinces bangol kan so nga karandir karandrol mil bekeje di lokum tambilalo wo fana um klosta di lokum tambilalo mo fana banta saintagn be nim programme min kunta sain wolum ka banko mul kalam tandi ndollo la minute na banko nyin kan wolum problem wol min ka ken na satel kono na tundol kan ani na cordal kono be abanda no nyadile akana ke police ta kuti akana ke court ta kuti wolum ka mul tombong na community il kono nim problem o ke daawda be wolle ki laje pour isa si badim bon ya ko nyin kata ko min nan do alfal kafe no nyami so kam mala um to mondrol mil keta nga dindungol jele ye nyo tombon eh community nyin kono dindungol tombon tale ke bal tombon ta fon nin ke musol nin ke be tombon ta anin um lan jurtol milialan ko um ilan jurtol fana be tombon tale nyin tundol be kan because nga faham le ko mol mil lan jurta wala kan yola problem mo long because am um, angalel call for he who knows it feels yes, it so wole fana kere ko mi yalla ko fonding ke lol fana tombon tale nim problem o kete tol da mal tema e tol le sa a solve no mu sol fana sometimes e e be malula ko ko dol sara no ke wole wala na mu sol fana tombon dal fana da mal sela problem o solve no e da male so nyulum ko mi yalla ko ndol be lori wole kan nyim banko nyin kan sainte ka kada kaaje ko kayro ni tanko ay sabati banko nyin kan akana ke police ta kuti akana ke court ta kuti ala baraka ala baraka musa a jos be do man ne lale la ko mokan kom ni ye molle tombon ka fo men ye tema tamala inside immediate wala tema tamala mo me yalon ko nim fitino dunta mo flol tema a se tamé tema kaaje ko kayro e sabati mo flol tema because dunia e ka fole nanga si nga sonka nga dia bar ni moko e nanga si nte sonka la afa amari eta so because fitino ni nto ni fitino wulu tale andum ba to la jenne bo men ko maya ta wala minti ko ka fitino bang ba nyaame yaalon ko sama nto nte fente to la nte ma be nyo jela la nga nyo konto ndey faati ya fa jenne anin surwa ka ngola ako e molle tombo mo men yaalon ko pour sama ni problème on attend tol da matema wol mari sa tama nole ka je ko fitino e bang e tol mari tema moma moma ku kalamta parce ni aji be kabrin jandin tu babol binal fitino be jande hmm baro fitino ni ya ban no nyalile ke balle kasi ikka kacha banta balto suto mo be ke lale sino 
ke balle wul yaaje ko ñi fitno be keere jenda be wajja bi la ni tol dam mal nga bang tema ni tol dam ma nga bang si yo ñimbe si yo ñimbe di yalla le fanta ya fuk janetu ba ko ngala wot mo ni yaaji be ni din ni din ke baye din noje hana manke di ngoti fa abe ku jaw ke kan ni fa ngala ka buuté ni afta da soko na ko kari le buuté yemu neke e ka ya ñi ne ka a fama ba fulay a memuta wara asa fo yo nana sabari fa ngoy buuté ru sama ya lo nga men ki ama betia bar bi yo lo ni koy be woké la luwal bi jël me ya lo ka ba fulay ko wandi di ngoy ma ñana buuté la bar ni woké ta adam malé si ka je ko fitino ay bang bagna mem be me ya lo ko ning sama atul dam maye ñoje alte ñoo alte alte jutu la ñoo because bi alaman tankala la ninte ni fanta lota police wara lota court house wo wo kon nan re abe tarlante ni fanta temal fo faw because ngari memba tol ne nga project o do ron le about 2 years sanji saba commando ntara saate dol to siara ken ni wona wulta ko fiti no le atina ate mom alafta muso men na ma futu because mo ne atina ate a fama ani ñunu fama le tata no kiti wala so wol dum tan yola wo kiti woni nata graw fo kilimo ye kilimo soro wo wo kiti kiti woni kono so wo yatare tol mo wulu bari tol wulu rin kola ate nata la fi ñin dingol so nata mol ki je ko je kari juma le la fata ñin kari dingo ñin do ko hani futu dole be sitla bari ñi wonte so wo yati na ate foto di a foto wo mo sola so wo lati na kuma yata pour un tol fo sen fitino bang tol fo ngol la fata la ñaming so lafta wala la la mutala ko mo hen to nya la kan ba an so nga fula foy je mola fe ko so akamta ni min nata nyola ya be refo ndey fatu ni nata jibe ni man ko ya fo nu nyama man ka ku ko tati ni ya je nata fo bim futata de nyin tembola kese kese ro kuma kuma seta dula le to birimbe di am kan tuma kan wala nu ni nata ka kudo fo mi yalon ka keta kom ko be starta no min tole ni hakilo ba kan um na office and in ministry of interior and in other partners and then kiss kiss ro kala mi an ko ka fay complete development analysis of the gambia 2018 so ni na ro kiss kiss ro ji be ay cool la bon mi an ko mul don conflict driver sorti and mul la be exist na um na na nyim banko kanja and no kiss kiss ro na ta mo ne fintindi wolon ko um ne na structure soto la na gambia jam but structure nyung i domanta la domandi and then ni na ta na trc fana ji be afana na ta ko le ko a man sakunda nyanta dulal soto la mi yalon ko be kala kairo sabatin dulal because man sakunda ma soto so instead of nibo kala e ka fami infrastructure for peace a nyanta soto la so part of that wala na nata inside the media zone because ita fala no yedula soto ima mo soto mi yalon ka be tala temul da dala jito so wa dalilo le yat na nga nyin inside the media tool soto and ni na de inside the media tool fana jibe brimba ak mo nyinin ka mi yalon ko be nala e be kala ti man sinna office ko no doro nga fo ko be mo nyin dole tala be nyin no because ni na ten ko bi ngande fatu leta nde fatu se sinna fo ko a e man tara njokan ta kala anun te buti nda fenke la ji bar banku doku wala waji bolon pour ndel fana nga finti mol kan nga ta ngi nyinin kay tel yamar mul lon problem mo timi ala ka be keke la ila dandangol to wala ila regional to andi tel yamira mune yatina mune ko problem mol fana nati anun nana te ka problem mo ni ka bay nyaadi le so ilo kuma kan fay nata ita nda mol ko kom nim problem mo keta to nya nga dula so do mi ala ko keta bay re ni ibata suwo ko no problem mo te kay faale kan nim problem mo nata ay problem mo nyim ban but ya jele ko kom nim problem mo dolbe ban kan kuma ka bay nyaami ak manele so na manita katina la kom badi yami be ni nyol tema aka lanjurule so ibe mune ke no la ka aje ko wukanake so ni inside media so no la fenko nata wo nyamal because ni mu fenati mi yalan ko am akuma ya batal bari nun to ngalo no ko nga badi ya choko sotole ni ndana ta bi nyuma kamar ko nan ko sana wolam sina nga ku tiri balo faye hana ta be ku kam mi yalan ko man betaya sa faye ay ta man ta ni ne man ya an sa faye feya ko no and don't say problem when you tell me but say kabo 2016 na kana nga jela ko wo sana wo ya fo mi yanka ben da multima ala njurtal do monde bari bi ni na tay ko me ni mo kamar ko nan ko la kamar ko nan ka jola kan kay ko ta jola rem maybe nga fo feya la kan but asaje no ku do nyamal nun to nga lo na ko sina ya fo mo ko ta mu nyeta mu nyeta ba ka je fenda ka jela ko ado lo nga tarale andu nyin le yati nan tel ketan tete so ka muru mol kan wala nyama ka fo ko nyin mo fenda te mi yalan ko nyeta rale anun tarako ko to dol biji 
ngalo nako dol bi je mam beteya ba dol bi je bi je le mi yan ko ibeteya tele kan tele nata ne nyukando ay nde ka tinna la ko badi ya be sabata la nyuka nyaame so wo dalilo ya nan tata ka je ko mul ya mul na community ko na ibe mul soto la nyaade mi yan ko ilate la nim alaman tankala takin takin wona ta ne sa muruno wolkan ini ye kacha ya fo nyin ne nyin be kering wol yita ya dama e dama wol yesi ya bang jani bita police station oto bar ngalo ne ko wol fatatale bari man ni ko kam mo fangol ko sakkeli ne bari ta kenu a e be fatalale problem o do bi je naketa at danu la badi bu pay ko ta police min kam ta rep min kam ta faro wata diamu no la badim bu bar ko mi yanon ko abe futu mal tema alman tankala la dingol nim fa fen ko e misunderstanding soto am waji bolo ni wo ko wal ke ta pour nga si badim bu nga fo je nga bang andu molle betala je mi yanon ko late la nga andu ni diam ta dawo dan ni tuba wol ka ko mi ko influence soto and abe kala positive influence da ma fo dan ko do reta society ko da in nango dia da bari den nango man dia ya fo ko am bat nga ta kari ya bat xana ma dingo do bi je alale ya so ni tate diam ta ya ka fa hamul ko nun to na jalol be nyamen do nun to jalo nana ta kuma te xana ta fente bu ni ka mek so le fendi ya because a kefo la aye ko mo fo aka problem o ban so wa dali do le yatina am tata mol kam pour ni e ka cha nga je ko be problem o ban na nyamen na sate ko na janto abaraka baake fanta fona e kati nga point bo hamantene amna solo trop moy a lan lañ muna waxtane ci community bi ak yo hamantene fok ñu aga police te pat bobu nonu almost miss nañ ko ah because lu ci melni kom ray nit lu ci melni kom rip yi capital offense la yu amut sa cause ya waxtane because amon na tan amon nañ fi loi bo hamantene ku ray ñu ray la lañ but with these human rights laws yi nga hamantene wax na ne ray nit baxut a capital offense la yoy taxna be gene wonne laws yi nga xamantene moy ko ray ñu ray la but ay affaire yi nga xamantene ray la rip ku ko def dina la tej wa yoy mom dina la tej and it's very important uh, because depuis waxtan bi buñ commencer we've been talking about infrastructure for peace infrastructure for peace infrastructure for peace and uh, when you look at the infrastructure for peace um, mm -hmm. we're talking about an architecture that is already built mm -hmm. to what to ensure so, that there yeah. is peace at the end of the day in the yeah. game you're following the trrc report mm -hmm. so some of these uh, infrastructure for peace mechanisms include having the national peace commission being a hamantene bill be mungse assembly be right now yeah. uh, security sector reform be tamit bokka na infrastructure for peace being a hamantene ñu ko waxtane am nen li nga hamantene moy victims uh, reparation yeah. bill yeah. Yeah. which is already passed bo kana se li nga xamantene tamit moy prosecutors a bill tamit bi nga xamantene mo ci national assembly so bo kana ak yenen yenen yi nga xamantene bo kana se li nga xamantene moy a infrastructure for peace be following the trrc white paper te li yeb so gisee mo am moy pour ñu gis ne jamma sax na ci rew mi ak li nga xamantene because at the end of the day a uh, conflict we know where it starts sure. but where it ends is not in our control it's just like a bushfire exactly yeah. Yeah. so so tale bena nya mulla you you cannot even control the outcomes of every conflict and sure. that is why we are here to ensure that there is sustainable peace in the gambia to ensure that everybody is at peace to ensure that there is peaceful coexistence harmony and how do we do this through dialogue and mediation mm -hmm. and this is one thing that is very important mm -hmm. like i said before this is the project team on the strengthening inside a mediation for conflict like prevention and peace in the gambia okay. brought to you by peace network peace hub the gambia adrs and one up through the ministry of interior proudly sponsored by eu undp in the gambia and we have done the identification of insider mediators mm -hmm. by the community members identifying people they trust mm -hmm. to lead mediation processes in the gambia mm -hmm. we have trained these mediators that were identified by community members mm -hmm. to do what to ensure there is peace in the communities and lead mediation and dialogue in their communities mm -hmm. here we are with the tv programs and proceeding to the radio programs for the popularization of the concept of insider mediation in the gambia targeting different stakeholders to talk about the concept of insider mediation and how imperative it is to ensure that there is peace at the end of the day in the gambia this is just the beginning of a three year project and this is just the first step to it because at the end of the day our end goal all of us sitting here is to ensure that there is peace in the gambia aligned with development because one thing is certain without peace there is no development can be lana without peace there is absolutely no development yeah. we are talking about the uh, uh, increase in food uh, products in the gambia we're talking about uh, the use of rate. illicit drugs in the gambia we're talking about uh, the robbery and murder cases in that homicide, are yeah. almost yeah. 
every day sure. or every week they can dig a can of rain and come. But it's almost impossible to talk month and you do not hear anybody being robbed or killed in the Gambia recently. Mm -hmm. And all of these are peace and security challenges. And the more it increases, the lesser development uh, and endeavors we'll see in the Gambia. And we all have a stake in this. Please, this is just a gentle reminder that be peaceful always smile and spread love let everybody be at peace on all times and i think we're almost running out of time so i just allow my incredible panelists here to just give a few words whilst we conclude but this time we're starting with the youth representative today you're a youth rep and this is the rep for the older generation and you're here for women and i'm here for the children <laughs> yes please so we'll start with the youth rep. Yeah, thank you very much, Ndei Fatu. I think this is a very, very important program, and it's going to be continuing until the end of the project itself. So I would like to conclude it in Maninka so that, you know, our fellow listeners also Please, or yes. um, viewers will know what exactly we're going. Mbe Kumo Kumfala Mina, all of Nintiko, Mediators, Milbe Community, Kono, Milka Fitnova Multema, um, ala la jole fong be mol be, tadun dey fare do fo jane ko fit no na wuli ta mo mo yala starting the malalong, but a abe dana demi malalong. Om kuran ayolti wata ko fit na la tu si ban na la di na zala mo min kum khasa. Olam al bori fit no la fit no ning am akumasta mo min be dunna kono al to olon na no. And then you know um one last thing be mol fana encourage la min na. Um, all on Yintino, always nga nga came more to me along co and say Tarakairo Balawati or what Alabarca. Thirty seconds, <laughs> okay. Thank you very much, um, De Fatu, and it's a pleasure of um, having us here. Um, thank you. um, looking at the Gambia is our collective responsibility to ensure that we have that sustainable peace, and peace must start from us and spread peace as well. And nobody can make this country good for us if we are not willing to sacrifice for the country to be better. So thank you. That was motivational. Uh, thank you, Pende Fatu. My final one is let's take this as uh, something that we own. Let's have that sense of ownership. Mm -hmm. This is something that has been in existence before we were born. So if it is brought back, let us embrace it and see it. It is ours to maintain peace. Without peace, like you said, there cannot be development. And for development to, ri to raise or to rise, mm -hmm. let's embrace uh, inside a mediator so that those people will be responsible uh, for settling disputes among uh, among or within our communities. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you very much to our beautiful listeners. And we're giving you another appointment next uh, week here at GRTS uh, Radio, Gambia Radio and Television Service, GRTS, 9 to 10 p.m. to talk about insider mediation and how we promote peace and development in the Gambia. This is Nef Artinium from Peace of the Gambia. See you next week. Peace. Peace, 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 peace. Thank you very much. <laughs>Solving problems of community within the community themselves, I think, is more proper. And it's the easiest way, rather than going to the police. The police officer might be someone who is not even within the community. So it's much better if you have the people within the community themselves being mediators to mediate such problems. That is, in fact, one of the traditions that we used to have in this country. In many years ago, you know, when problems erupt in a house, you know, or in a compound, people will ensure that they mediate and finish it peacefully within the compound. police. Police 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 like saying, in the man as the society, when it comes to the mold, so the media and the media and the mal team, we must alhamdulillah order match. Time, but when they fuck, they come, come on, we're going to go and get inside the media. Why? Realize, Nane, there are so many criteria that we have to meet 
Bengo muna neka inshaAllah kuhusu dieto. Nyanta kila multi mea longo itilintale, mumea longo ihonestale, anu ite bribe muda la, ni tata sita ibelela moila karafulu ibelela. For young people, the message I have for them is that the future is ours. It's either we maintain our peace now or maintain it later. I think the earlier the better. So if we help um, this insider mediation process, it will help us to maintain our peace now and forever. Thank you.